guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having an awesome day today. So today's video is going to be all about fall and winter outerwear. And I have my fall and winter outerwear from my wardrobe here hanging up to show you today. So I'm gonna be talking you through each piece and tell you a little bit about my tips for shopping for outerwear secondhand. Everything that I have here is secondhand. Some of it I got on Poshmark, some of it I got on ThreadUp, and some of it I thrifted. And outerwear is one of those more expensive parts of a wardrobe, so it's a great thing to find secondhand because you can really save a lot of money. In preparation for this video, I calculated out what this would have cost if it was new using similar pieces or the same pieces if they're still available. And it would have been around the $730 mark for all of these jackets. But secondhand, it was only around $220 for five different coats and jackets altogether. So you can definitely save a lot of money by shopping secondhand, but I'm going to give you some of my tips for finding really good quality pieces that are in great condition and just go over that a little bit today and show you each of the pieces. So if that sounds interesting, please keep watching. So the first two jackets that I have to talk about today are from Poshmark and Poshmark is great if you're looking for something very specific. So I use it if I am looking for like a camel wool coat from a certain brand or something like that, which is one of the pieces that I have here. It's really good for those specific keywords you can put in your size, the fiber content, all of that information. So if you know really specifically what you're looking for, Poshmark is a great place to start. So that's why I used it for my more heavyweight and expensive winter coats this year. So the first one that I have is this wool J Crew coat and it's absolutely beautiful. This is something that I like to get on Poshmark because I can really check the quality. I can see what condition it's in. When I look at this type of thing at the thrift store, usually it's a little bit more run down, a little bit moth holes and that kind of thing. Oftentimes though on Poshmark, it only belonged to one person and they're just cleaning out their closet from the season. So this coat is in absolutely beautiful condition. Condition. It doesn't even look like it's been worn. Um, there's no pilling or anything like that. And it's this lovely camel Italian wool. It's fully lined and just a really great classic coat that I can see myself wearing for a long time to come. So I'm super excited to find this. This cost about $100 on Poshmark and a similar coat from J. Crew right now costs around $228. So it's definitely a savings in that regard. And I am super excited to have this in my closet. The next coat that I got from Poshmark is this trench coat. And this is the J. Crew Collection Icon Trench, which they still sell. And it costs around $228. I paid $90 for this trench coat and it's in absolutely beautiful condition. I do still need to have it dry cleaned because I just got it a couple of days ago, but it's a gorgeous coat. And rumor has it that the fabric that they use to make the J. Crew Icon Trench is the same fabric that Burberry uses to make their trench coats. So it's definitely a high quality piece. And this is just such a classic trench coat. I love to follow New Darlings on Instagram and on their blog. And Christina is often wearing the J. Crew Icon Trench. So I really wanted to get it as well because I loved how it looked on her and I absolutely love it. It's the perfect length, the perfect color, and just really great quality. And for $90, I think it was an absolute bargain. So I'm super excited to have this one in my closet as well. But this was another thing that I knew I liked the style of. So when I went onto Poshmark, I looked up the J. Crew Icon Trench and then looked for my size and just the best deal. And I was really happy to find this one. So as you can probably tell, the pieces from Poshmark are a little more high priced. People know what they're worth and they know what they can get for them. So I would go to Poshmark for something that's a little bit more more expensive and high quality like a wool coat or trench coat something like that but I also have a few pieces that are from the good old thrift store and the first one here is this green military style jacket I got this at a kind of thrift consignment type of shop and it's by Velvet, which is a brand that you can find at Nordstrom or Anthropology. So definitely a good brand. And I actually looked on the Velvet website and they do still carry this jacket for $150. I paid 15 for it. So definitely a lot cheaper than brand new. And it was in great condition. It's a great layering piece for early fall because it's just a cotton unlined jacket. And I love how it looks with lighter colors. I really like this type of olive green in the fall season. It looks great with plaid and different prints like that. It makes every outfit look a little bit more autumnal so I absolutely love this one and I was so happy to find it for such a great price and then another piece from the thrift store is this blazer which if you follow my channel you will have seen this before I've included it in a few videos I got this for around five dollars at Goodwill and this is just a Target brand blazer so it would probably only cost around thirty dollars at new but it's a fun little trend based piece to play with for the fall I think that the thrift store is great for those more unexpected pieces things that maybe you wouldn't specifically look for but they just stand out to you and you try them on and they just add a little bit of fun and character to your wardrobe so I'm super excited to have this one in my closet and I think it's just a great piece to play with this time of year especially as blazers are everywhere this season. 
And then the last piece I have to talk about is my denim jacket. Now a denim jacket may not be a fall or winter piece for you depending on where you live, but where I live I can definitely wear a denim jacket in the fall and winter. And I love this one. This one I got on Thread Up, and it's Ann Taylor Loft brand. A similar jacket on their website right now costs around $89, so it's a little bit pricey, but this one was I believe around $10 on Thread Up. And it's just a great little distressed soft denim jacket. I think it looks very cozy if you pair it with a big cream colored sweater in the fall um, but I also wear it over dresses a lot so it's a really versatile piece and I think it helps make any outfit look a little bit more casual if that's the look that I'm going for so I really like this one it's super soft and comfortable I've had it for a few years now so it's definitely started to wear it just a little bit but it's a great jacket and I think thread up is a great place to go if you know a specific style that you're looking for so not necessarily extremely specific like with the Poshmark pieces but something like denim jacket is a great keyword to type been on thread up and you'll find a lot of different options and that's what I did with this one and it's a great way to find those pieces thread up definitely has a lot to sort through but just make sure you're using those filters on the side for your size and the fabric content and color and all of that and it will make it a little bit less overwhelming and more manageable all right guys so those are all the pieces in my fall and winter wardrobe I hope you found this helpful and maybe inspired you to go look for some secondhand coats and jackets for your fall and winter wardrobe it's, it's definitely much more economical and better for the environment to shop second hand so I love doing that and I hope that this gives you some inspiration to do that yourself thank you guys so much for watching today if you are not already subscribed to my channel you can do that now by pushing that red button down below at this video and I'd love to have you back to watch future videos you can also follow me over on Instagram if you're interested I'll put a little clip of my Instagram right here it's at just Lauren Johnson and you can find outfit posts and things like that over there right now I'm doing a 10 by 10 outfit challenge so if you're curious to keep up with that you can check out my Instagram I will have a video of that of next week as well thank you guys again so much for watching today and hanging out on my channel and I will talk to you in my next video bye